Hi, I'm the Backyard Man. Today we're going to be fender repairing a Fender Stratocaster in the memory of Jeff Healy, one of the greatest all-time guitarists. Well, what we're going to be doing for better quality purposes, what we're going to do is put a little bit of light on the area of the chip. Not only gives you a little bit more of a viewing area of the chip, it just, you know, makes it a little bit better. Okay, so here we have a better look at the side of the guitar. And uh, what are we doing here with the paint, sir? Well, what I'm going to start is by adding a little bit here on the crack and here on this little chip here. That way, you know, just get a little bit of a feel for how it's going to react with the guitar. Great. Let's just get a quick zoom in here. Okay, so I'm assuming that that little white dot there in the middle is the uh, chip, is it? You want to yep. point to it there? It's right here. Do you see it? There's a little bit of a chip there, and a very small one right here. Kind of unnoticeable, but we're going to fix it anyways. Okay, so what's our first step here? Well, what we're going to do is we've taken the brown nail polish, which is kind of a I don't know, chocolatey color, and we're going to start just by applying a little bit of it, just, just to see how it feels with the, with the uh, guitar. Have you put any on there yet or no? No. I just, just, you know, a little bit. Very little. So you're going to do this in several coats then? Yes. Okay, now we know it's a little bit of a watery effect. Add a little bit more to the brush. And what kind of brush are you using? Right now I'm using a Games Workshop Citadel model, model brush. It's fine tipped. It's basically just like a small modeling <laughs> brush. You can pick it up at any craft store. It's quite easy to use when you get the little chips. So here we go with the second coat. As you can see, it's taking a little bit of a darker effect. If you can see it. Uh, we're going to have to do this in several different coats because it's not as thick is the brown around it, unfortunately. Okay. So we're going to let that dry for, what, a couple minutes? Yeah, we're just going to actually move on to the next crack here. While that one dries, because by the time we're done applying any, any amount to the other one, it should be done. Okay. You don't need all that much to finish this one. Well, you just got to add a little bit at a time. Patience is key. Okay. So I've added a little bit in that smaller one. It seems it's drawing fairly quickly, quickly there. So we're going to move on to applying to the first one. Very good. We're just going to be back here in a second. Just going to let this dry for a minute and then uh, we'll return. Okay, we're back here for some more now. Alright, well during the break I actually applied just one more coat. Um, it's darkening up nice. Box and I went out of the lines a little bit, but that's fixable. Just apply a little bit more here, just to darken it up a bit, just to blend it in. So far, so good. Just a little bit more here, so we can darken that up a little bit more. When you can see the uh, the white spot slowly disappearing. So far, so good. What do you figure? We've got another what five, maybe six coats to go on. Maybe around that. It's darkening up a little bit quicker than I thought. So we'll see after that one dries. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll let that one dry up a little bit. 
and we'll give it a couple of more touches and we'll bring everybody up to date once we uh, cut those coats on before we put our final clear coat on. Alright. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, our marks are just about gone. Can you point them out there for us? Yep, there's one there and then there's the other one there. And what are you about to do now? Well, I'm about to apply the clear coat, which is just another type of nail polish. Um, so yeah, basically what we're going to do is just do a little bit of a layer on top of a layer and fill in the cracks, the crevices. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll definitely be less noticeable. Excellent. This is a really touchy process, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here goes nothing. As everyone can see, once Mike puts his hand out of the way there, the mark has almost completely disappeared. Alright, so we're going to let that one set. And after you do the clear coat, make sure you always wipe off your brush. Or else it'll be a definite waste of a brush. Or if you're not going to use it again, it doesn't matter. It's just always a good idea to keep your brushes in good condition. And here goes the second one. Alright, so now I'm going to move back to the, the bigger crack. So it's starting to dry. You just need to add a little bit at a time, but you want to make sure the clear coat does not dry before you start adding more. That way it gives you the, the extra shine. You can actually slowly see it disappearing. Excellent. And I guess we wait for it to dry a bit. Yep. Just got to do something here. And a little bit too much clear coat there. A little bit of a human miscalculation. Here we are, our master of paint. Is that it? Touching up the good old Fender Stratocaster. We'll be back in a minute for a final picture and uh, see exactly how the final outcome is. So we're back now after a couple hours here and uh, having a look. Uh, can you want to show us what the, the final touch up is? Yep. So the one is there. That was the bigger one. You can barely even see that. And then there's the smaller one right there. And that one you can't see at all. And there you have it folks. It is uh, from the Backyard Man. This is Mike saying thank you very much Mike. We really appreciate this. No problem. And uh, thanks for the painting lessons. No problem.